Hello everyone. Myself, Dr. Vinay Adav, PC resident and Department of Radio Diagnosis, ABMS and Dr. RML Hospital, New Delhi. Title of my paper is Role of Multi-Detector Computed Tomography in Evaluation of Renal Masses. Introduction. Detection of renal masses and their differentiation from their benign counterparts is extremely important, especially when these masses are small. CT is the most sensitive imaging modality for detecting and characterizing the renal masses as solid lesion, simple cyst or complex cysts. MDCT with its speed, easy availability and multi-planar reformatting capabilities has emerged as the single most useful tool for characterization of renal masses. Aim to find out the role of MDCT in evolution of renal masses and to differentiate between benign and malignant renal masses. Materials and method. Venue of the studies, study conducted in our department. Uh, study type is cross-sectional observation study. Study duration is 1st July 2020 to 1st July 2021. Sample size is 55 cases. Inclusion criteria, patients of all age group who have been clinically suspected to have renal masses and being sent to our department were included in the study. A methodology, MDCT on 128 slice Siemens somatum was done in all patients with clinically suspected to have renal masses or patients who were diagnosed to have renal masses on ultrasound. Results, a total of 55 patients were included in the study, out of which 25 patients, 45 percent were of benign group, which included renal cysts, 20 percent, renal abscess, 8 percent, renal hydrated, 2, 4, 4 percent, polycystic kidney disease 16%, renenoma 4%, oncocytoma 16% and angiomyolipoma 32%. In 30 patients, that is 55 patients were of malignant group which included renal cell carcinoma 40%, transitional cell carcinoma 16.6%, Wilms tumor 13.3%, renal lymphoma 10%, metastasis 6.6%, renal sarcoma 3.3%, multilocular cystic nephroma 3.3%, PNET 3.3% and rhabdomyosarcoma 3.3%. Now cases. First is renal abscess. Here there is a hypodense collection with peripheral enhancing wall is seen indenting the renal parenchyma at the interpole region in the right kidney. And there is a, another small hypodense collection with peripheral enhancing rim is seen in the interpole region of the left kidney. And there is a marked perinephic fat standing also seen. Now second case angiomyolipoma. Here, there is a well-defined lobulated solid mass lesion with predominant fat retination is noted in the lateral aspect of the lower pole of the right kidney, measuring around 3.5 cm. And the solid component shows post, uh, shows post contrast enhancement. Now, third case is renal oncocytoma. Here, there is a large heterogeneously hypodense mass lesion with central known enhancing scar is seen arising from the interpole region of the left kidney and it is heterogeneously enhancing. The lesion is causing mass effect in the form of medial displacement of the upper ureter, and splaying of the hilar vessels and PCS system. Fourth case is renal cell carcinoma. Here there is a well-defined heterogeneously enhancing mass lesion seen arising from the mid and lower pole of the right kidney with internal cystic areas along with the thickening of gyrotas fascia lateral fascia and proximal rhetoric wall thickening is also seen. And there are multiple round to ovoid variable sized cavitatory lesions are seen scattered in the bilateral lung fields with invasion of the uh, left inferior pulmonary vein, likely metastasis. So staging is T4, N1 and M1. Fifth one is transitional cell carcinoma. Here there is a heterogeneously enhancing soft tissue mass lesion seen involving the left renal pelvis and it is extending to involve the left proximal ureter and causing hydroeretronephrosis. And there is also a heterogeneously enhancing soft tissue mass lesion seen involving the posterior and left lateral wall of the urinary bladder with involvement of the left VUJ with upstream dilatation of the ureter. Next is Wilms tumor. Here there is a large well-defined uh, circumscribed heterogeneously enhancing mass lesion is seen replacing the left kidney with multiple known enhancing areas within the lesion, likely cystic changes, few calcific foci and fat density also noted in, within the lesion. And the lesion is, uh, is causing splaying and displacing the renal PCS system anteromedially. And the lesion is also causing mass effect and displacement of the adjacent organs. Next is metastasis. 
here there is a heterogeneously enhancing exophytic mass lesion seen at the lower pole of the left kidney so basically this is a case of cervical lymph node biopsy proven case of metastatic neuroendocrine tumor where uh, we can see multiple uh, heterogeneously enhancing nodules seen in the thyroid gland uh, with bilateral cervical and axillary and medicinal lymphadenopathy and there is also a well defined lytic lesion with sclerotic margins is seen in the c5 vertebral body so possibility of medullary carcinoma thyroid with metastasis to the lymph node kidney and bones next is pnet primitive neuroectodermal tumor here there is a large well defined heterogeneously enhancing mass lesion seen involving the right kidney and there are few tiny foci of calcification seen and some non enhancing areas also seen likely necrosis and there is a invasion of the right renal vein by the mass lesion in, uh, invasion of ivc and also seen here we can see the infiltration of the liver and the right crest of diaphragm and right source muscle is also involved infiltrated and the lesion is causing mass effect on the surrounding organs in the in the chest we can see multiple heterogeneously enhancing pleural and pulmonary and mediastinal deposits so in a view of young age and aggressive tumor with extensive metastasis possibility of pnet is considered a discussion the study was carried out in our hospital over a period of 1 year on 55 patients and calcification was seen in approximately 35% cases of the rcc and malignant renal masses showed more amount of necrosis compared to benign masses that is 60% in rcc and 100% in wilms tumor renal vein invasion was seen in 33% cases of the rcc while none of the benign lesions showed invasion renal transitions and carcinoma were associated with hydronephrosis in around 50% cases the most common site of metastasis from rcc was to lymph node around in 40% cases and in lungs around 18% conclusion mdct can be used as a single most powerful tool in the pre operative diagnosis and staging of renal masses references thank you